15 scariest human parasites. Welcome to Miniature Mondays. Number 15, Nathostoma spinigrum. This parasite can be transmitted to humans by eating raw or undercooked fish. It's a rare parasite that can live for a decade in the body and cause swelling under the skin. There have been a few instances where the worms burrow deep into the organs to become life-threatening, but those have been rare. Number 14, the tapeworm. Eating undercooked meat or fish is often how people acquire this parasite. Tapeworms can live in the intestines, where they often produce no symptoms, but can cause stomach cramps, loss of appetite, and diarrhea. Certain tapeworms can also travel to the brain, where larval cysts can cause headaches and seizures. Number 13. Bed bugs. Chances are these creepy crawlies need no introduction, showing up all over the world, so much so that infestations are becoming commonplace. Only coming out at night, they like to feast on human blood. If you've ever squashed a bed bug, you know this to be true. Their bites are not infectious, but can leave itchy red welts. They're also very difficult to exterminate, causing some people to throw out infested clothing, furniture, and bedding. Number 12, Giardia intestinalis, an oldie but a goodie. This is often referred to as an equal opportunity parasite. Commonly affecting humans, it also strikes cats, dogs, and birds. Transmitted by contaminated food or unclean water, it causes fatigue, foul-smelling uncontrollable gas, rampant diarrhea, and vomiting. After a week, the parasite usually departs. FYI, only about half the people who have the parasite show any symptoms. So you have a 50-50 chance of it resting quietly inside you right now. Number 11, lancet liver fluke. Usually settling into the belly of a cow or other grazing animal, this parasite is known to attack humans too. The fluke uses ants as its initial host, which seems to be the usual form of infection. If contracted, the parasite will produce mild symptoms like bowel disturbances. However, the parasite can become harmful, causing tissue in the bile ducts to swell as well as inflammation of the liver. Those uh, ants in your pants might get your bowels in an uproar. Number 10, the sand flea. Now here's a tropical bug that uses the host's feet as a spawning ground. The female flea burrows its way to the bottom of the foot after the males have fed on the host's blood. After a black blister forms, the female lays her eggs, which hatch in a few weeks and the mom dies. If the mother flea is removed from the host's skin either by falling out or by being scraped out, the host will be fine. But gangrene can occur if the flea stays embedded in the skin. Number nine, Toxoplasma gondii. Nearly one third of the world's population has been infected with this parasite. The parasite can be contracted by eating undercooked meat or unwashed fruit. A major risk factor can be your pet kitty cat. Effects of the parasite on humans generally produce flu-like symptoms, but there is evidence linking the parasite to schizophrenia. Number eight, the pinworm. Found in temperate climates like the US, Europe, and China, these worms tend to inhabit the colon and rectum, feeding on E. coli bacteria. Many children catch this parasite by the age of 12. At night, when the host is asleep, the female pinworm will emerge from the anus to lay her eggs on the surrounding skin. Because the eggs are itchy, the kids will scratch which contaminates their fingers. If they suck their thumbs or touch other kids who do likewise, the cycle repeats all over. Number seven, the human bot fly, also known as Dematobia hominis. This is a tropical parasite that uses human skin as an incubator. This creature has a clever strategy. It lays its eggs in mosquitoes and ticks, which feed on human blood. When these blood suckers feed, they leave an itch along with a mass of tiny larvae that dig a hole into the host's skin. The larvae then incubate for 10 weeks and breathe through a hole tunneled through the host's skin. If the larvae reach maturation, they eventually exit the body. If not, infections can form, requiring surgery to remove the larvae. Number six, the guinea worm. 
This parasite is contracted by drinking dirty water infected by fleas containing the worm's larvae. The parasites may produce no symptoms for up to a year, but during that time it's actually mating and reproducing inside the host's stomach. As a blister forms, the host experiences burning pain, rashes, and fever, symptoms that the worm is migrating. Once a blister pops, the female guinea worm will try and release her larvae through the break in the skin. Many people have been infected with more than one worm at a time, and the only way to remove it is by winding it around a stick. If the worm dies in the host's body, arthritis or even paralysis may occur. Number five, the filarial worm. This parasite is spread by bites from black flies or mosquitoes. It causes filariasis, which is actually a collection of diseases, all of which have serious complications. Living inside the human body, these worms produce infections that can cause river blindness and elephantiasis. Elephantiasis can cause painful extreme swelling and thickening of the skin, often in the arms and legs. This disease accounts for almost 40 million disfigurements around the world and can arguably be called an epidemic. Number four, Ascarid worms. This parasite can affect humans after consuming food or water that's been contaminated with fecal matter. From the stomach, the worms chew their way from the intestines to the lungs, causing pneumonia, which can be fatal to some hosts. Most people will be affected with a nagging cough which can produce phlegm with the worms inside. If the host spits out the infected phlegm, the creatures will simply die. If the host swallows the infected phlegm, the now mature worms will travel back to the stomach, which is where they started. Why the worms follow this route is still one of nature's mysteries. FYI, one in four humans are infected with these worms. Just thought you'd like to know. Number three. Loa Loa. As you can see from the disturbing photo, the Loa Loa is a worm that you can feel squirming around your eyeball. The bite of certain types of flies is how this parasite is usually received. It can leave skin ulcers as it migrates from place to place on the body, but it always heads for the eyes. Well, as I say, the eyes have it, right? This worm can live up to 17 years in a human body if untreated. Number two. Vampire fish. It is known as a vampire fish for good reason. It's actually a tiny catfish that latches onto larger fish to drink their blood. This creature is attracted by ammonia, and guess what humans release while urinating? Ammonia. This parasite can follow the scent of ammonia right into the human urethra, where it attaches its razor-sharp spine and starts drinking blood. Number one, the brain-eating parasite, also known as Niaglaria fowleri. Although it's a relative newcomer, this parasite has quickly made a name for itself as one of the deadliest parasites in the world. It is literally a brain-eating amoeba. This creature inhabits water and will enter the body through the nose. It starts eating brain tissue within a week of entering the host. Symptoms include vomiting, fever, and hallucinations which quickly lead to respiratory failures, seizures, and death. This parasite has killed people all over the world with a mortality rate of 95%. See you next week on Miniature Mondays. <laughs>